Today with Joseph Prince. Jesus says, all you who are weary and are heavy laden, come unto me and I will give you rest. If everything is perfect around me all the time, where is the opportunity for me to exercise faith in Him? Amen? I studied one time the word natural vigor. I just wonder, what is natural vigor? His eyes was not dim, nor his natural vigor diminished. 120 years old, y'all. Hey, 120, you know, 120. His eyes not dim, his natural vigor not. So I said, what's natural vigor? And I look it up and it's the Hebrew word, moisture. His moisture was not flat. Do we have the Young's literal translation? Yeah, Young's literal says, nor has his moisture flat. Oh, Pastor Prince, from now on, I drink more water. <laughs> you are not following the Bible way. The Bible doesn't say, all right, a, a, a drinking man is, does good like a medicine. All right, doesn't say that. You just have a bladder full. And bladder full is no good when you are listening to a preacher like me. Pastor, can I go to the toilet? No, sit down. I'm not finished yet. Pastor, I really need to go. No, sit down. Then finally, you all know, right? See, I told you. I told you I need to go. <laughs> it's too late. Okay, anyway, that was a bad joke. I don't know why I've been joking this same joke for so many years you now. Since I was preaching many years ago. And people don't really laugh at this joke because it's just something I like, okay? I told you I need to go. Okay, anyway, what causes the bones to dry up? Go back again to Proverbs. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. A broken spirit. Now we need to find out, how come the spirit is broken? When your spirit is broken, it, your bones are dried up. See, when God made man, listen, God made man, very beautiful, God made man as a whole. Now, we teach tripartite, you're a spirit, you have a soul, you live in a body. I guess sometimes to, to, to teach like in a classroom situation, you got to separate the two. But actually, whatever affects your spirit affects your body. Whatever affects your emotions affects your body. Whatever affects your emotions affects your, your mind, affects your... It's all interconnected. When David said in the Psalms, I am fearfully and wonderfully made, the word wonderfully made is literally the Hebrew for embroidery. You know Embroidery. Ladies, amen, when you do embroidery, you, 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 cause, us, you, you cause the, the variegated colors to, to blend with each other. And literally all our organs, our blood vessels, everything, God actually designed it to be an embroidery. It's not supposed to be something that we look at it and say, oh, you know, why is all these lines here? No, it's meant to be embroidery. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen? Are you listening? Now, if one part is out, it, you cannot say, well, it's only that part is out. No, the spirit of a man, Proverbs again, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity. But a broken, a, a broken spirit, who can bear? A wounded spirit, who can bear? Now, the question, what is a broken spirit and how is a spirit broken? Because we want to know, right? It causes your bones to dry up, right? You don't want your bones to dry up, right? Right? <laughs> when your bones dry up, your bones shrink in volume. It's breakable. You look smaller. That's what sometimes we don't realize as we look at our parents last time. You know, uh, my dad used to be very tall when I was a small boy, of course, by, by virtue of the fact that uh, the height difference. But then as I grew older, I realized that he sort of like looked smaller and, and before he passed on, okay? There is a shrinkage, okay? But I'm believing God not to receive that. Amen. Amen? I'll stand tall by the grace of God. Amen. Because I respect my father. I love my father. My, my DNA is no more from my father. It is from Jesus. Because my Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Amen. All things are passed away. How many things? All. all things have become new. That means that all things means my DNA. So if they say your, your parents have this, your parents have that. Doctors will ask you, do your father have this? Your mother have that? Uh, insurance uh, people will ask you, do you, your parents have this? Have have? Because naturally, all right, all sons of Adam inherit the corrupt nature and the fallen nature and disease as, as a result. But you are no more under the fallen Adam. Remember, you've crossed the river Jordan. You have crossed over. Amen? All of Adam cannot cross. 
you now have the last Adam's DNA. And you have health written in that DNA. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Maren, I love Maren Hickey's uh, uh, sharing on the mind where she shares that her father has a, a condition of the mind from that. And uh, the devil came to her and said, you're going to lose your mind. You're going to lose your mind. You're going to lose your mind. All right? Uh, you'll be like your father. And she turned to the devil and said, which father? <laughs> Until today, 80 plus, and her mind is sharp. Just fin- she's still preaching overseas. I don't know if she's back or not, but she sent me pictures and all that. It's amazing, this lady. 80 plus and she's preaching. Get involved, people. There will always be a reason why you cannot go or cannot get involved in serving the Lord and all that. Get involved. When you serve the Lord, moisture flows, y'all. Moisture flows. Sit down there, do nothing. Go back, eat, 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 eat. Watch, 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 watch. Eat, eat, school, school, school. Your children's school, your wife. Eat, eat, eat. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Work, work, work. Stress, stress, stress. One down, one down, one down. No wonder grow old. Get involved. Get lost. When you lose your life for my sake, you'll find it. You seek to save your life, you will lose it. Get involved in ministry. Get involved in the missions. And going. Just get involved in people's lives. Don't be a passerby. Amen? So how, how is the spirit broken? How is the spirit broken? And there's old people, well, Pastor Prince, I have a merry heart. You know, in ancient Britain, when the king arrives back into the castle, the flag, when, the flag is always like half mast when he's out. He's not in residence. Or there's no flag. Okay? Not half mast. No flag. But when the king is in residence, the flag is up. Joy is a flag flown high from the castle of my heart, from the castle of my heart, from the castle of my heart. Joy is a flag flown high from the castle of my heart when the king is in residence there. Go on. (laughs) Whole world know in the sky that the king is in residence there. So let it fly in the sky, let the whole world know. Uh, Pastor Prince, uh, yeah, 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 that's flag. <laughs> but I'm telling you, don't, don't go by my face. I have a merry heart. No, you cannot say you have a merry heart and it doesn't notify your face. Your face is the pole, or the flag. Okay? Uh, well, well I, I, I will not believe that. You show me Bible. Okay, don't ever challenge me the Bible. All right, Proverbs 15, 13. A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance. Hey, cheerful face, la. <laughs> All right? So, you know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. So I don't want to smile, you know, because beauty, I want to preserve my face. I want to preserve my face. I don't want to, be, to grow old too fast. So the moment I, I smile, I'll have laugh lines and all that. All right? I, 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 I won't look good and all that. You, you trust God? That God says when you smile, you're, you're from merry heart, it'll be moisture to your face. <laughs> Amen? It'll be moisture everywhere. Don't worry. you look younger and younger. Amen. 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 So what causes your spirit to be broken? He tells you also. But by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. Just now we read a broken spirit, right? Now it tells you how the spirit is broken. Sorrow. Makov. Right? Surely he has borne our diseases, our, the sorrow. Here is etsef, which is another word for sorrow. The same principle. So listen carefully, people. Look at this. The whole thing about sorrow of the world. Don't allow sorrow to stay. Some of you feel sorrowful. Yes. I, 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 I received news about something to do with the, the broadcast that, that you know, um, someone who bought a station, doesn't believe in my teaching and all that, all right, uh, didn't want us to have that time that we have and all that. But you know what? I felt sorrow when I heard that. I felt sad. But God will open new doors. It's not worth losing my health over. Amen? I'm going to stay married. I'm going to rejoice in the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So I'm just telling you, all right, <laughs> like Pastor Mark, I say, I'm just being vulnerable. <laughs> so I'm just telling you all, 
to let you all know that doesn't mean, you know, Pastor Brian up there, always, you know, always flowing. I've had my, and that happened only like this past few days. Amen? Oh, I'll tell you another sorrow I had. Another sorrow. This past week, my phone fell into the toilet bowl. All right? <laughs> this has never happened before. And by the way, it's clean, okay? I wasn't doing anything to the toilet bowl. I was just at the, my, my sink, washing my hands, you know, just uh, getting ready for bed and all that. And my toilet bowl is not too far away. All right, it's a, it's a very small uh, toilet. And then, uh, I, I don't know what I did. It was... <laughs> and of all the places... Boom. And they have that blue uh, detergent already, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, oh man, I got to... But it's clean, by the way. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's been flushed a number of times already, but when it fell, thank God. So I, I grab it, you know, and I had to wash it because of the detergent and all that. And then my wife came up with this brilliant idea. She says, you know, if you put it into a bag full of rice for two days, it'd be okay. So I shove it down there, put it in the right. Two days after that, open up. And by the way, the vision all become blurred, you know. Uh, obviously, the water went in. And it's true. After two days, it was back in action. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. But sorrow without the, the phone, right? There is great sorrow. <laughs> can't use anything. Can't, you, can't hear music, nothing, you know. Realize how peaceful it was not to attend to every message. So we go through challenges every day, right? Amen? Sometimes you realize, why? But Pastor Prince, God's favor can protect you from that falling into the toilet bowl. Yeah, I'm sure he can. You know, I'm sure he can. But he didn't, right? He's also helping me to train. If everything is perfect around me all the time, where is the opportunity for me to exercise faith in him? Amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. Have you all learned something? Yes. Let me close with this. Thank you, Lord Jesus. By His stripes, we are healed. There's a, a very touching uh, uh, verse in Psalms 90. Give them Psalms, they plow, yeah, 129. The plowers plowed on my back. Messianic Psalm. The plowers plowed on my back. They made their furrows long. That tells us it was a cat of nine tails. It wasn't the Jewish came. It was not just hitting his back, it was plowing his back, okay, and made the furrows long. Now, let's go back to the verse that we, we open up with. So, his, his, his stripe was very long all the way down, okay? No wonder it was one whole laceration. Deuteronomy 25, start with verse 1. We started with this, right? Notice, if there be a controversy between men, they come to judgment, the judge may judge them, and they shall justify the righteous, condemn the wicked. It is the wicked that gets the beating, right? But then, God made Jesus who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteous, the righteousness of God in Him. So who takes the place of the righteous now? You and I. Who takes the place of the wicked? Jesus at the cross, right? So who is justified by God? You and I. Am I right? Am I right now? My first question, are you taking the place of the righteous for you to enjoy what the, the, the beating is all about? Are you taking your place? Or are you taking the place, oh, I, I'm guilty, I'm this and that. If you want the benefits of the stripe, you need to acknowledge that you are the righteous. Because Jesus acknowledged, all right, himself as like, you know, identified with sin so that he'll take the stripes. You identify with the healing. With his stripes, we are healed. Can I have a good amen? In 1 Peter 2, 24, you know what's a colon in English? It means uh, there are uh, two ideas, yet it's another way of saying, and they're not conflicting one another. All right? Let me, um, let me just show you. The, in fact, the, the second, second clause explains the first clause. Okay? Even though they, are, they seem different. Let me show you this. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness. Colon. Can you see colon? All right, some Bibles put semicolon. Your new King James put dash. We go with the King James. Colon. By whose stripes you were healed. So even though li living unto righteousness and by whose stripes you were healed are two different ideas, but by whose stripes you were healed explains living unto righteousness. Let me tell you this. What God is saying is this, by the way, do you know date to sins is right there, not verb but a noun? Live unto righteousness is not righteousness as a verb but a noun. Most Christians, when they read this, means you must die to sins. 
make yourself die, make yourself die. That is a verb. No, when Jesus died on the cross, we died with him, we died to sins. Sins and sin. Okay? But Peter is using very exact words here. Then he says, we live unto righteousness. A lot of people think, right doing. Right doing. But no, righteousness is a gift. We are to live like we are righteous. We are, we are to treat ourselves as the righteousness of God in Christ. If that happens, you experience what? By whose stripes you were healed. Same idea. By whose stripes explain leading unto righteousness. Ooh! Are you with me so far? Okay. Many of you partake of the Lord's Supper, right? All right? I'll give you this last verse. And uh, Ecclesiastes 9, 7. Go eat your bread with joy. Eat, how you eat your bread? With joy. And many a times, okay, let's finish. And drink your wine with how? A merry heart. For God has already accepted your works. Amen. Let your head lack no ointment and uh, let your garments be white and your head lack no oil. Live joyfully the wife whom you love. Now, the first part there, we all know it's communion in the context of the New Testament, right? And yet the communion is called what? You carry Thanksgiving. How many times have you attended a communion service and it's very somber? It is very heavy. Search your heart. By the time you finish searching your heart, you don't want to take it. <laughs> Amen. You're afraid, right? It's called you carry. It's thanksgiving. It's joy. It's thanking the Lord. So eat your bread with and drink your wine with a merry heart. Amen. I think that's where we are missing it. That's why it's not flowing in people's lives because they look at the communion at a very somber time. And it's like we rejoice, praise the Lord, joy is a flag flown, let it fly in the sky. Now it's time for communion. <laughs> Amen. Eat your bread with joy, drink your wine with a merry heart. And then what? Your garment is always white. We know that we are the righteousness of God in Christ. Your head will lack no oil, no anointing. Amen. And you live joyfully with your spouse. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'll close with this testimony. I hope you have a picture of it. But uh, this is a very short testimony. I'll just tell you real quick. All right, it's very straightforward. In March 2017, Pastor K. Matthews and Pastor Lawrence and Pastor K. Matthews from our church, New Creation Church, conducted the Right Believing Seminar in Kombatore, India. A couple I know, this lady who's writing this, she's the founder of Grace Revelation Church. She's from our church, all right? And her name is Joy, and she's now there in India, and she has founded a, work, a great work. This lady is amazing. She's a true pastor, all right? And uh, she has this work uh, over there. So she's writing this. A couple I know, Pastor Joshua Selvaraj and his wife, attended the seminar, and it was the first time Mrs. Selvaraj heard the gospel of grace, and she was very ministered by the sharing. In May... 2017, just a few months ago, their, eight, their, their eight-year-old son, eight-year-old son, John Rufus, started having stroke-like symptoms. His face drooped on one side and he was unable to speak, eat or smile. Eight years old. Stroke. This is a picture of him. Okay. All right. He felt very ashamed. Okay, enough of that. He felt very ashamed and refused to go to school. The couple brought him to many doctors, but no one could help him. So they approached me, approached Joy from our church, who has the work down there. They approached me and I gave them Pastor Prince's book, Health and Wholeness Through the Holy Communion, and showed them the Calvary animation video, what happened at the cross that Pastor Prince has used in his sermons. They started partaking of the Holy Communion as a family, and John's condition began to improve. They took the communion 15 days. Within 15 days, this is John's face. To God, to God be the glory. So, eat your bread with joy and drink your wine with a merry heart. Amen. You need to take medicine, take both. Amen. You wouldn't think of neglecting your medicine, right? Don't neglect the Lord's Supper. Amen. Rejoice. Amen. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross. He loved you, man. And for the joy set before him, he endured the scourging. No wonder he fell and he got up and fell again. 
all because He loved you. But He saw you, that's why He got up again. Amen. And He went all the way to the cross. He will not die until He's on that cross because there's another payment on the cross. On the cross, He redeemed us from the curse. Amen. He was wounded for our transgressions. Can I have a good amen, people? Are you worn down in strength? Jesus says, all you who are weary and are heavy laden, come unto me and I will give you rest. Amen? Praise the Lord. Every head bowed and all across this place, if that is you, come to Jesus and He will give you rest. I want to pray for you for this coming week for divine protection. Let's never take it for granted, okay? Amen? Okay, you can bow your heads with a merry heart. Okay, don't have to bow your heads and then go to sleep with a somber heart. My friend, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that on that cross, He bore your sins. And on the third day, He rose from the dead without them. He's now at the Father's right hand. And He wants to be your shepherd. He wants to be your Lord. He wants to be your overseer. He wants to care for you. He wants you to live the abundant life that He promised in John 10, 10. So friend, if that is you, and you say, Pastor Prince, I do not know how to pray. I'll help you pray. Say this from your heart. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I come to you in Jesus' name. What a good God. Your heart is to bless, to save, and to heal. Here I am, Father. I need all three. And I ask you right now, in the name of Jesus, save me. I confess, Jesus Christ is my Lord, my Savior, my God, my overseer, my shepherd and forevermore. This is what He is to me. I believe He rose from the dead, having conquered death for me. Jesus Christ is alive and is watching over me, loving me every step of the way from this day forth. His blood has washed away all my sins. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Stand to your feet and friend, if you prayed that prayer just now, you are now a child of God. God is in your life. The Lord Jesus is in you. He's watching over you. He's also in heaven at the Father's right hand, being your shepherd, overseer. Amen. Nothing comes into your life without the filter of His hands. Believe that. Doesn't mean everything will be hunky-dory, rosy from now on, all right? But God will make sure that because you are in Christ, a thousand will fall to your side, ten thousand to your right hand. It will not come near you if you believe Him. Amen? So there'll be sorrows that will come, but let it just come true. We pass through the valley of sorrow or whatever. Just pass through. Be passing through. Don't stay there. Doesn't mean you won't feel sorrow from now on. You'll still feel sorrow, but don't stay on it too long. Sorrow of the world works death in your body. Sorrow of the world works death in your mind. You start forgetting things. You start, you know, getting depressed. Okay, so lift your hands all across this place. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Are you all blessed? Yes. This coming week, and Father, protect everyone under the sound of my voice throughout this week from harm, danger, from every disease, from every infection, from all the powers of darkness, from every danger, tragedy, and from all the power of the evil one. They and their loved ones, all of us, Father, in Jesus' name I ask. And all the people said, now shout, the Lord is my shepherd. God bless you. Don't forget that. He is your shepherd. Amen. If you have just prayed the prayer to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we want to welcome you to a new life filled with the goodness and abundant grace of Jesus. To help you begin this journey, we would like to bless you with an ebook titled The One Thing, 31 Day Devotional by Pastor Joseph Prince. Receive daily bite-sized inspirations of the favor, healing, and provision that God has for you. Simply log on to josephprince.org salvation and download your free copy today. Get ready to experience the amazing love of God. Dear friends, thank you for tuning in today. Our theme for this month is all about healing. If you're battling symptoms in your body or given a bad report by the doctor, know that health and healing are yours through Jesus' finished work. Healing is our inheritance in Christ. The Word of God tells us that by His stripes, we are healed. 
To help you walk in a greater measure of God's healing and wholeness, I've asked my team to put together a special resource for you called The Health and Healing is Your Inheritance Teaching Kit. These resources will help you know beyond the shadow of a doubt that God wants to heal you and have you reign over sickness, depression, and all kinds of long-term conditions. I hope that you request these resources today and know that your generous support of this ministry helps us reach many more with the good news of Jesus. Thank you for being a part of reaching the world with the gospel of grace. I am very grateful for you and I'm praying for you and your loved ones today. In Jesus' name. Are you or someone you love in need of healing? Discover your practical guide to receiving God's health in this brand new Power Pack Teaching Kit by Joseph Prince as our thank you for your gift of any amount to the ministry. With these two easy-to-read booklets and special two-CD teaching series, you'll discover why the Holy Communion and Anointing Oil are God's ordained channels to break free from everything that's keeping you in defeat. You know how you get grain, how you get bread, how you get wine, how you get oil? It's all crushed. It's like the olive oil. If it's not crushed, the oil will not flow. It's like bread. Unless it is crushed, then you will not have bread. It is like wine. Unless the wine is, is broken and stepped upon and crushed, then it cannot become wine. So Jesus came to be crushed so that all that He is, health, life, wholeness, abundance, prosperity, grace, goodness, will all flow out into your lives. Gain a deeper understanding of why the Holy Communion is your way out of every crisis when you request the Jesus Makes Me Well package. Containing the Holy Communion brings life in your darkest hour to DVD album. These faith-building resources are yours for a specific gift to the ministry. To order, call us toll-free at 1-877-901-4300 or visit josephprince.org today. of us that were crying out to God saying, you've got to send us an answer because we know that this is not the true gospel, but we just don't know where we're, we don't get where we're missing it. And so I think it took all of those prayers to bring a man from Singapore into America. And so everything that Pastor Prince is preaching about Jesus Christ is applicable to every situation. When I wake up in the morning, I expect good and not evil. I'm not waiting for the second shoe to drop. It's not dropping. Through His teaching, you'll just learn to trust God at all times. Even when you stumble and you fall, you know that you and God are still close, that there's no space in between you all at all. If you want to be set free, if you want to know that God is for you, if you want to understand all the different dimensions of Christ and why it's applicable to you today, then you want to listen to Joseph Prince's ministry. Joseph Prince Ministries is a Section 501c3 nonprofit organization, and your gift is tax deductible for the amount that exceeds any fair market value of the materials you receive from us. 